guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming 23 guest room must-haves and sharing with you the 23 things that I think are really critical and important to make your guest room a comfortable oasis for your out-of-town house guests. We live in the middle of the country, we live in Texas, and living here I live far from most of my family and friends who are on the East Coast, and so we have house guests quite a lot, and usually they come in the spring, and so it's March right now, and we have at least three house guests that are coming. Each one's coming for about four or five days, and then there are a couple others who are still working out the travel details, so we might have something like five or six house guests just in the next few months. And so this is something that we're very well versed in. We've had a lot of people come to stay with us and I am really passionate about hospitality and making sure that my guests feel super welcome. So I'm just gonna show you a tour of our guest room and explain to you some of the different pieces that I think really make the guest room feel cozier and more homey for your out of town guests. Before I jump in, I just wanna say that we do not have a bathroom attached to our guest bedroom, but there is a bathroom right outside the door. And so I'm not including things in this video like toiletries or a blow dryer or anything like that because all of that is in our guest bathroom, which is not attached to the bedroom. So just so that you know. All right, so let's just jump right in. While I'm starting this video, I'm just gonna show you a brief overview of what the guest room looks like before I jump into each individual piece. So it's just a little room tucked into the back corner of our home. It's quite cozy if I do say so myself. Um, there's a queen bed in there and it's pretty small but there's a nice size closet and we have very tall ceilings which makes the room feel just a little bit bigger than it actually is. We also have a nice set of drawers in there and um, a nightstand and then you can't see it in this video but against the wall we have a little wall shelf mounted for the other side of the bed where it's against up against the, by the window so that if there are two people coming then there is a little place for them to put some of their items on the on that little mini nightstand so my first guest room must have is water. I think it is so nice to have water bottles in your guest room. Of course, when our guests come, they're always close family and friends, people who feel very comfortable with us, who we feel very comfortable around, and they know because I always tell them that they're welcome to go into our refrigerator and pantry and kitchen at any time if they want anything. But I do think it's really nice to give guests just a stash of water bottles in their bedroom that they're able to grab if they get thirsty in the middle of the night or if they wake up early and they don't wanna come out to the kitchen and wake anyone up or it's just nice it's also nice for them as we're going about our day and traveling and that kind of thing around Texas going to see different things they can just pop a water bottle in their bag and it's just comfortable so I just like to have a stash of water available I think that's a really nice touch to a guest room and um, makes guests feel just a little bit more at home likewise my second thing is to always have food available now of course our guests are not just going to eat off of the little basket of food that we have in the guest room. But I love to have a basket of treats and I love to think about some of their favorite candies or little treats and put them in there. I also include like peanut butter crackers or um, just some little things that have maybe a little bit more protein in them, that kind of thing in case they're actually hungry and they're not just craving some sugar. This basket I personalize based on who's coming. So if someone's coming who is very natural minded, I'll put more things like granola and things like that. Whereas if someone is like me and has a huge sweet tooth, then I put more sugary stuff into that basket. I love to cook, I love to feed people, so our guests are usually not hungry, but I know the feeling of staying at someone's house and being a little bit munchy at night, like going to bed and they're you know, off to sleep and you're just up a little bit longer and you want something to eat or you're gonna watch a movie and you want something to snack on, you know, that kind of thing. So I just always like to have that. I also like to send, if they don't eat anything, um, or if they don't eat all of whatever's in that basket and they wanna take some of that home with them for their trip home, I love to send food with them. And so I just always like to have a little snack basket available for my guests in their bedroom. The number three thing I like to include is our Wi-Fi password. I have that framed. I just made a little graphic that has our network name and then our password for the purposes of this video. The password is covered up, but obviously our guests will be able to see it. That way our guests can go ahead and check that out because there's not a TV in that room, but our guests always bring their phones, their iPads, their laptops, that kind of thing, and so they can watch TV on, on their 
devices and they can also connect with loved ones and their family back home or whomever and that way it's easy for them to go ahead log in they have it in, that information in their room and i just think that's a nice touch my fourth guest room must have is lots of pillows some people like to sleep with just one pillow some people like lots of pillows all around them so i make sure to have lots i have two of a larger size like king sized pillow in the back and then i have two of a smaller sized standard sized pillow and then i have two european like euro sized pillows and then two little small ones in the front and our guests know that they can use whatever they want if they want to lounge on all of them or if they want to sleep with you know whatever is comfortable to them but i always appreciate when i stay at someone's home and they have more than just like one pillow because when I am getting ready to go to bed at night, I love to watch videos on my iPad or read with my, like a couple of pillows behind my neck and everyone has their own little preferences. And so it's just nice to have a bunch of pillows so that everyone's happy. My fifth must have is warm bedding. So on our guest room bed, we have a quilt on the top and then we have this really soft, warm, cozy fleece blanket that goes in the middle and then we have a top sheet and I wash all of those those things in between guests and um and then obviously like a fitted sheet on the bottom and I just think it's really nice when you get into a bed and it's there's lots of layers it's so easy to take layers off if you're hot but when you're staying at someone's house and you're cold and there aren't enough layers or there aren't extra blankets it's really rough like it's really hard to sleep when you're freezing cold and so sometimes people like to keep their house cooler than you do or you're in a climate that you're not used to so i always like to make sure that i have really warm bedding but in layers not just like one giant heavy down comforter because then it's the choice between that or nothing. I like to have lots of layers so that people can mix and match and find the right temperature for their sleeping. Similarly, my number six must have is an extra blanket or a few. So we have a huge quilt that we fold up at the end of our guest bed that's that's heavy and warm and you can it's it's really big. I think it's a king sized quilt and so it can be doubled over. Um, so it's a perfect perfect solution to have in that room if people need extra blankets but you definitely want to make sure that you have at least one if not two extra comfy blankets for guests i also have a down comforter that i keep i don't keep in the guest room but it's a queen size down comforter which is the size of our guest room bed and i always offer that to my guests and just say if you want more just let me know this is where you know this is where it is it's in the next room over where we store some of our extra things like that and so that's an even another option but i just i'm very cold natured i get very chilly at night and i really can't sleep when i'm cold and i know that there are a lot of people like that so i always am trying to make sure that there's enough light and enough bedding that people can make sure that they're nice and warm when they're sleeping over at our home. My number seven must have are hangers and an abundance of closet space. I've stayed with a few people who their guest room closet has not a single extra hanger to hang anything up and no space. Like it's jam packed with all of their memorabilia or you know whatever whatever it is in their guest room closet of course it's their house they can do whatever they want but there have been times where i like really need to hang up something or um you know whatever and there's no place to do that and it's like an awkward thing like should i take one of their garments off and put like i don't you know what i mean you just don't you don't want to do that and so i always make sure that the closet has nothing in it except for hangers and a few other things that I'll get to in a minute, but that there's ample space and it's very clear to my guests that they are more than welcome to unpack completely and put all of their items and hang them up in the closet. My number eight must have is a hamper. I always offer that my guests can do laundry the night before they leave on to go home. Um, a lot of times if people are coming for a little bit of a longer trip, they appreciate that so that when they get home, they don't have to do a load of laundry and I don't mind at all them throwing their laundry into our washing machine. So I always do have a hamper and even if they choose not to do that, then at least they have all of their dirty clothes separated to the side. Um, and it's just, I just tuck that into the corner of our closet. It works out really well. My number nine must have is similar to having an open and empty closet and it's having empty surfaces and drawers. I've also stayed in a few guest rooms where every service has like pictures of the family and little tchotchkes and little memorabilia and then all of the drawers have like extra things that the family uses. And I'm not trying to be rude, but it just makes it difficult as a guest to unpack and it doesn't really feel all that homey because you kind of feel like you're intruding into someone else's home. So in our guest room, we don't have a single thing in any of our dresser drawers. And then in the nightstand, we just have two small things that I'll get to in a little bit, in a minute. 
Similarly, we don't have any pictures of us or any pictures of any people in the guest room. We just have a few little decorations and lots of space on the dresser and on the nightstand for people to actually be able to unpack and put their things up and, and feel like they have a little home away from home for the period of time while they're staying with us. Must have number 10 are books and or magazines. So depending on the person who's coming, I put different things in the room, but usually I at least just tuck a couple of magazines into that basket of food. Um, and it's just like a something that they can grab. We also up here in our front room where I'm filming right now have a bookshelf and my guests know that they're welcome to go and grab any book that's on that shelf and read it if they wanna read anything while they're here. A lot of times people bring books with them. So I do just like to have at least like a couple of magazines in case they're up early or up late or whatever and they just want something to read. My number 11 must have is a power strip. I think it's really helpful to have a power strip. I just have ours tucked behind the nightstand and so I have the alarm clock and lamp plugged into it but then there are I think four more outlets that are open on that power strip so that if people bring anything that they want to charge or plug in there are plenty of places for them to do that. My number 12 must have is an alarm clock. I've stayed in so many, I've stayed in so many hotel rooms actually and guest rooms that don't have an alarm clock. And of course we have our phones with us and so that's fine, but it is nice to have the, the time you know, sitting somewhere that you don't have to pull out your phone for. So I always make sure that we have a alarm clock and I like to have the alarm feature because some people really do like to use the, the, the old school way of an alarm and not use their phone. And so an alarm clock is definitely a must have for our guest room. My number 13 is probably one of the things that I'm most passionate about for guest rooms and I've already touched on it some in this video and that is having light decorations. And I don't mean literally light like white, although I do tend to like that style. I mean not cluttered. I, I just think that when there are lots of picture frames and little bowls and little things and little everything all over the nightstand and all over you know the dresser and on little shelves and on top of everything, it I I feel like I'm like walking through really trying to be careful when I'm staying with someone like that because I don't want to break anything or misplace it or damage it in some way, and um, it's it just doesn't to me doesn't feel as homey as a room that's a little bit more of a blank slate where it's just a little bit cleaner, the decorations are light. So we just have three little things that are hanging above the bed. That's really the only decorations that we have in our guest room aside from you know the bedding. And um, we just keep it really light and simple so that people can kind of bring in their own items and they can feel hopefully at home and not feel like they're about to break any of our stuff. My number 14 must have is a place for a suitcase. A lot of people have luggage racks. We don't have space in our guest room for a luggage rack. So we just clear, make sure that the top of the closet is completely clear. And we have really tall ceilings. That's quite large. People can totally put their suitcases up there. And the bottom of the closet is totally clear. So people can put their suitcases down there as well. Um, of course, if they have like massive suitcases, we can just take them out of the room and put them in another room in our house. But people tend to be able to tuck them away or even under the bed, tuck their suitcases away so that those are not in the way while they're staying with us. My number 15 must have is a hook or a few hooks. This is something that is so useful and our guests use our hooks that we have every single time they stay with us, which is so funny because they were a little bit of an afterthought when we were pulling together our guest room. But we have one hook that is on the right hand side of the closet, outside of the closet on the wall in the actual room. And then we have two more hooks that are hanging on the back of the door. And people use them to hang up their towels if they come back after taking a shower. People use them to hang up their purses or backpacks or bags or scarves or jackets. Um, it's amazing that people really, like every time we have a guest and I pop into the room to say like, are you ready to go? Or, I don't know, whatever. I always see that they have a lot of things hanging on those hooks and I just think it's a nice way for people to be able to unpack. My number 16 must have are robes. I think having robes in your guest room is such a nice way to make it feel a little bit more like a luxury experience, even if they're just staying with you in your home. So we have two robes. They are both white so that after our guests use them, we can wash them in hot, hot water and bleach them before the next guest come and we have one that is in the size small slash medium and then we have one that is in the size large slash extra large so hopefully any guest that comes could find a robe that would fit him or her and we just have those you know launder i always wash them right before they come so they're nice and fresh and i hang them up in the closet almost all of our guests use those robes because our bathroom isn't attached. And so if they go into the bathroom and they take a shower, then they can put the robe on and feel like they're really modest and covered. I mean, we're not like waiting outside, <laughs> but you know what I mean? So that they can feel really comfortable walking the few steps back to their room. 
Similarly, my number 17 must have our bath towels. We always have a set of fresh bath towels in the bathroom, and then I also put a second set in the bedroom, just so that they're, I don't know, I just think it's comfortable and nice to know that there are like ample fresh bath towels um, all around. Whenever I stay with people, I always appreciate when there are lots of bath towels, just because I like, I personally like to use two. I use one for my hair and one for my body, and um, my husband uses one, so that's three, so it's just nice to have several around. And then I also put a washcloth on top of it, um, in the guest room so that guests are able to grab the, grab all those things and head into the bathroom to take their shower. Again, there are also fresh towels in the, sh in the bathroom, but it's just nice to have them in the bedroom too, I think. My number 18 must have our mirrors. I can't tell you how many times I've stayed in a guest room that has no mirrors. And so you're getting ready in the morning and you're like, oh, I hope I look okay, I hope I don't have lipstick, you know, whatever. And so it's really nice to have, I always like to have at least a full length mirror and then a shorter mirror. Um, guests really appreciate having a full length mirror so they can make sure their whole outfit looks good. And then also I like to have just a smaller mirror um, and when ours is hanging above the dresser so that if women wanna blow dry their hair in their bedroom instead of the bathroom or do makeup or whatever they wanna do, there's another mirror there. My number 19 must have is a trash can. I always just like to have a trash can. I always make sure to put a trash bag in the trash can um, in case guests have anything that they, like if they blow their nose or something and they would feel uncomfortable, like that it's in a trash bag so that I can just tie it up and take it out once they leave. So a trash can is definitely a must have for our guest room. Number 20 are flowers. These are not necessarily a must have in terms of necessity, but I think they add such a nice touch to a guest room and they just make it feel bright and warm and welcoming and so I always pick up a little bouquet of flowers and clip them down and put them in a vase in our guest room before someone arrives just as a nice greeting for them. Number 21 is a candle. I always like to have a candle in our guest room because I think it's nice. First of all, I usually like to light it when I know that people are coming to arrive so that their room has a fresh scent and there's that warm glow of a candle. But then I also like to have that in there in case they're, you know, we go to bed at night and they're gonna sit up for a couple more hours and work or answer emails or watch TV and they just want a candle. Candles are just so relaxing. Some guests have taken the candles into the bathroom and lit them while they take a shower or a bath, that kind of thing. So it's just nice to have that option. A couple of small tips, make sure you have matches in the bedroom so that guests don't have to go fishing around for them. So I have those in the bedside table drawer. I have a little box of matches. And then I also recommend that if you want to encourage guests to actually burn the candle, make sure it's already been burned. Make sure it's not a, a brand new wick because I think most people wouldn't feel comfortable lighting that for the first time. So either have it lit when they go into the room so that they know that it's already been lit and that kind of thing, or just light it for a couple of minutes before they arrive so that the wick is black and they feel comfortable lighting it. My number 22 tip is a coaster. In our guest bedroom, in the nightside table drawer, we have a coaster so that guests can use that. If guests are drinking the water bottles that are in the room, the water bottles are room temperature, and so I don't, I'm not worried at all about them using a coaster with those. However, a lot of times people will come and get like an ice water before bed from our kitchen, and with that, in that case, I think it would probably be best to use a coaster, and so it's nice for them to just be able to pull that out of the drawer and stick it up on their bedside table so that when they're going to bed, they have a coaster for their drink. Finally, my number 23 must have is more of a bonus than an actual must have, and that is some kind of gift for your guest. I really like having something for guests when they arrive, just to say, we're really glad you're here. Welcome to our home. Welcome to Texas. And so we have that all in I always have like a little bag and I just put it on the bed and depending on the guests, I get different things for them, but usually just something that's relatively small, but just like warm and welcoming. I think it's a nice way to show hospitality is to have just a little gift for your guest awaiting them in their room when they arrive. So those are my 23 guest room must haves. What is on your guest room must have list? I would love to hear from you below. I know a lot of people do like toiletry jars and things like that, but like I said, we do that all in the actual guest bathroom. So maybe sometime I'll do a guest bathroom must have video. If you're interested in that, let me know. Thank you so, so much for watching. I am filming this video because I have a friend coming into town tomorrow and she's staying with me all week, which I'm really, really looking forward to. So this is on my mind. Hosting people is on my mind and I'm just so excited for her to get here. Do you like hosting guests? What, what kind of guest room do you have? Do you have a big one? Do you have a small one? Some people even have two or three guest rooms, which is like my dream one day to be able to host that many people. We just really love having people around and being able to host them and show them around our town and 
invite them into our home and cook for them and all that. So let me know what your guest room must haves are. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.